On October 26, 1984, Baby Faye, not to be confused with R&B superstar Baby Face, became the first infant recipient of a non-human animal organ, in this case, the heart of a baboon. It's known as a xenotransplant, and it's incredibly rare even today. In Baby Faye's case, she was born with a condition called hypoplastic left heart syndrome, which meant that the whole left side of her heart was underdeveloped, forcing the right side to do all the heavy lifting when it came to circulating blood throughout her body. This is unsustainable. So in most infants, uh, if this condition is left untreated, they'll die in about 10 days. So Dr. Leonard Bailey told Baby Faye's parents that her best chance of survival was this transplant of a baboon's heart. The parents agreed, the surgery was performed, and unfortunately, 20 days later, Baby Faye died. However, this was seen as a moderate success, particularly by Dr. Bailey, who one year later would go on to perform one of the first human-to-infant uh, heart transplants. But at the time, there was a huge amount of controversy about Baby Faye's surgery. For instance, animal rights activists objected to this on the grounds that we shouldn't be raising animals only to slaughter them for human organs. Another big controversy was based around what rights people have to decide the important life or death medical decisions of other people. In this case, parents, but it could be any other relationship. Uh, do parents have the right to take on a risky procedure that could result in the death of their child? And also, were the parents even properly informed as to what procedure they were agreeing to? And the answer to that last one, it turns out, was no, absolutely not. It turns out Dr. Bailey lied to the parents. The consent forms that Baby Faye's parents filled out said that, for instance, the procedures normally undertaken to repair Baby Faye's heart uh, were unproven at extending the life of patients. That was untrue. Since 1979, a physician in Boston had been repairing patients' hearts with great success. The consent form also stated that research showed that xenotransplants could result in long-term health. And this also was a lie. Dr. Bailey had experimented on approximately 160 pairs of animals at that point, mostly goats and sheep. And not a single one of them lived more than three months after the surgery. So again, that was a lie. Uh, it turns out that the doctor didn't even look for a healthy human heart to transplant, and there was one available, and that could have saved baby Faye's life. Instead, he used a baboon heart, which studies had shown at that point would be completely incompatible with humans. And so scientists at the point already knew that there was very little chance that the baby's body would have accepted this baboon heart. Later on, some journalists asked the doctor why he chose a baboon heart instead of a non-human primate closer to humans, evolutionarily speaking. And Dr. Bailey's response was astonishing. He said he didn't believe in evolution. As shocking as that is, uh, there's one small bit of this story that I find particularly poignant. And that's the fact that baby Faye's parents didn't have insurance. And Dr. Bailey knew this and he used it in order to get what he wanted. He offered the parents the Xeno transplant for free, knowing that all of the other options that were available to them would be too expensive for them to even bother researching. And so of course they immediately signed over uh, based on Bailey's lies and his seemingly kind gesture to perform the surgery for free. It's worth thinking about now, I think not just because this is the 30th anniversary of what happened with baby Faye, but also because there's a debate raging right now in the United States over the Affordable Care Act or Obamacare as it's known. And I think it's worth remembering that when we deny people health insurance, we're not just denying them access to sometimes simple treatments that can drastically improve their lives. But we also have to remember that denying people health insurance leaves them open to being 
used and abused sometimes in the name of science in the way that has happened to other ma marginalized people like the poor African-American men of Tuskegee. So Baby Faye basically died in large part because of inequality. And the Affordable Care Act can actually help fix that.